Well, hello, hello, and welcome to the Wholesome Living Podcast, formerly known as Way to Wellness Podcast. It has been a little while since I since I was last in your ears and um, it was a bit of an unintentional break, but here we are back together again, back in your ears, and I'm so excited, so grateful. And yeah, I've been looking forward to coming back onto the podcast. I really enjoy this way of sharing and connecting with you all. So what I thought I might do for this first episode of season three of the podcast is just to, I guess, play a little bit of catch up, um, share a few things that have been happening because I worked out it's been, I think, about 18 months between um between our last season and this one so of course so many things can happen between now and then and have done so so I'm going to try and um, run through a few main points but of course I'm probably going to forget quite a lot of things that have happened over that time but I've got a little list here of um, just a few things that I wanted to share that have been happening over the last little duration and also um, just you know sharing a little bit about what's happening currently and where I'm heading from here. So going right back to the start um, which would have been around May last year I think I dabbled in I've tried like a few different little uh, business ventures because I am a manifesting generator in human design and so that means that I really need to kind of try them out for myself first to see if they're going to work and see if they're going to align with my energy um, and one of the things that I explored was uh, I had a organic and caffeine free tea and coffee online shop um, known as earth blends and it was really beautiful and who knows it might even make another comeback but it's uh, it just it wasn't um, it wasn't aligning with my energy and so I decided to just allow it to slowly fade away and I'll just see you know what comes of earth blends maybe in the future so that was the first thing I think that I explored since the last podcast episode back in April 2021 uh, I also finished my life coaching course. So I was studying with the Beautiful You Life Coaching Academy and I finished my course last year, which was really exciting just to add another skill and, you know, to enhance my coaching skills for myself and my clients, which was really nice. And Beautiful You was a company that I was following for a long time and I always knew that I wanted to study with them and so when I had that opportunity, because they're always so far in, in advanced, booked out all their courses, I, um, I had to wait a few times to get sorted to be able to get into the program. So, yeah, really stoked that I was able to have that experience and gain those skills and, you know, connect with all of the other students that were in my round of the course as well. So that was really cool. Um, what else did I get up to? I also, alongside my um, teaching of yoga, I really started to develop a passion in my own practice for Pilates. Uh, and so I decided to do my mat work reformer, uh, mat work training. I'm doing my reformer training at the moment, but I've been teaching mat work Pilates alongside my yoga, which is really amazing. Um, and yeah, I'll soon be teaching reformer Pilates as well. So I've always, I've studied um, yoga, different types of yoga and fitness before that. So to add Pilates to my movement repertoire is just really, really nice. And it's a really nice way to move your body you know, strength wise, um, rather than going to the gym, <laughs> unless you're a gym person, then go for it. Absolutely. But for me, I really like the fact that just using your own body in uh, Pilates and yoga is such a powerful thing to know that you can just do it at home or whenever suits you. Um, the other thing that happened was I came across this is what happened I came across a social media post when was that 
I can't quite remember when it was now, but I came across a social media post um, on the page of The Kind Press, which is an Australian independent publisher. And they were doing a call out for co-authors of a book concept that they had come up with, which was This I Know Is True. And they were calling for women to, I guess, submit their stories or, you know, something that they wanted to contribute around this concept of what you know to be true. And so I sent through my concept and I was accepted to contribute to that book. So that was really exciting for me. I think that was at the, more at the beginning of last year, so 2021. The book was published in October last year, 2021. And yeah, that was such a beautiful um, taste, I guess, of the publishing world. And it really sparked something in me to want to write my own book, which I'll get to in a moment. <laughs> um, so that was really, really, really lovely to have that opportunity to be in a group of such amazing women that were sharing their stories alongside my own. Um, and then getting to November, um, we, myself and my partner were very unfortunately, but at the same time, fortunately involved in a serious car accident, which, um, you know, I was going to say, which is very unexpected, but I think they all are um, through no fault of our own. Yeah, we were in quite a serious car accident, which thankfully somehow we escaped with minimal injury. So that threw a bit of a spanner in the works for everything. Um, so I was teaching, as I mentioned, I just kind of finished my Pilates training. So I was teaching in the local town here and also had opened a really small shop here, which I was going to teach um, at both places. And so I ended up closing the one here just because I wasn't sure where I was going to be at with the injuries that I had. Um, but needless to say, having a big experience like that, and we all have, you know, things happen in our life, big moments that can change our perception around things or we learn big lessons from, it's all relative. So needless to say that that was a big wake up call and actually the big catalyst to what I'm about to share next is that I was already writing my book, um, Life in the Soul Lane. I don't know if I had the title quite ready to go yet, but I had been dabbling with writing the book um, throughout the whole of last year. And I had two book concepts land and I'm gonna do a whole episode, which will probably be the next episode um, about the book itself. But I had two book concepts land simultaneously and so I enlisted the support of my book writing mentor Jordana Levine just to run over some of my ideas and then I really cemented um, the idea for Life in the Soul Lane and that's why I decided to write that one first. Um, so I'd been writing pretty consistently for the whole year but I have to say there were a few times when I was I guess, found myself in a bit of a rut. Um, and so after that happened, I was like, okay, this is one of the things that are, is really important to me. And so that was in, that happened in November. And I thought I need to send a book proposal to some publishers by the end of this year. Um, because I felt like that was the next step that I needed to take to be the catalyst to get the rest of the writing process complete. Um, so on the 23rd of December, so it was like right before everyone was going on Christmas break, I decided to submit my proposal. And um, because I'd already worked with the Kind Press before uh, with the other beautiful book, This I Know Is True, I had already worked with Natasha that um, is the publisher there and she it was such a beautiful process and so I decided to submit it to the Kind Press once again and I followed a few guidelines that she had shared and I also did my own research and put a lot of effort into writing my proposal and then 
in January, so it would have been a few weeks after we all came back from a Christmas break, I received the offer to publish, which you can imagine that I was totally over the moon <clears throat> about being able to share my words. And also needless to say that that was a nice little kick up the bottom to help me to you know, get some traction, get going and finish the last couple of chapters because I had already written, I think, four or maybe five chapters and there's 11 chapters in the book. So, um, yeah, so I was able to really just sit down. I have to, I'm, I'm very much a regimented person and so sitting down with a routine in the morning to write and not to say that it comes easily every time you sit down and you plan to write because it doesn't always turn out that way. But having that intention, so sitting down and writing and flowing and I had all of my, um, my concepts sort of mapped out to help me with that. So finished writing that in March 15th on my sister's birthday, that's how I remember. And it's yeah it's it's a very long process writing a book and it's such a beautiful process and a, a beautiful co-creation you know weaving all of these different factors together that um that you know come along with the publishing world which I'm you know so very new to and and have been so grateful to have that support there from Natasha and from the kind press team um, if you're listening to this in real time, that book, Life in the Soul Lane, is just about to be published. So it'll be out on the 10th of October. And yeah, as I said, I will do a whole episode dedicated to that. Probably that will be, yeah, the next one that comes out. Um, what else have I done? So I, as well as studying the Pilates, I also did a nutrition course. So I studied with um, the Food Matters Institute. So I really love the Food Matters company and I've been following them for so long and they have formulated this um, beautiful certification, which is the um, certified life. No, what is it? Certified. Um, it is the certified nutrition coach course finally got it out <laughs> um, and I had always really wanted to study nutrition and I did actually go to uni to do that but it didn't end up working out for me in in that particular time so this was just you know it worked out a really good time for me to be able to do that and again just acquire those um, extra skills to help my clients because when I'm coaching it is in a holistic way so it's mind body and soul and of course part of the body part of it is our food and what we eat and so I was fortunate enough enough to be able to go through that program as well which was amazing and they're just about to open their enrollments too so if that is of interest to you I'll leave the link to sign up for that in the show notes as well and that was a really brief rundown of what's been happening in the last 18 months. So as I said, I've probably left out quite a few things, <laughs> um, but that is the very brief version of what's been going on. So it's been a lot of up and a lot of down over the last you know, year or so. And I guess that's just life in general. <laughs> um, but I'm so grateful to, to have this opportunity for my book to be published very soon and so grateful to be here with you back in my ears, me being back in your ears, I should say. <laughs> um, and, yeah, I guess where we're going from here is um, I'm just in the process of sort of rejigging and reformulating my offerings at the moment of as as you can imagine a lot of my focus right now is just getting my book out into the world and everything that goes along with that so that will be my focus likely for the rest of this year so 2022 um, and yeah just reformulating my one-on-one -on -one group coaching and 
you know, whatever else comes through my creative channel. Um, but yes, I'm going to have this podcast running for season three and it is going to be all around wholesome living as the title kind of implies um, and it'll be a lot of me sharing you know things that I consider really important um, for holistic living and I'm going to have some beautiful guests on as well so there's so many different factors that make up who we are as humans and you know, our level of awareness and our level of um, health and well-being. And so there'll be a variety of different practitioners in that realm that I'm going to bring on just to, you know, share their, their wisdom and their life experiences and all their knowledge that they've cultivated as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and if you've got any requests for topics that you want covered, any guests that you'd like to see on the show or anything else, always feel free to get in touch because it's really nice to hear from you guys getting that feedback around, you know, what you would like to hear just to make sure I'm bringing content to you that is really of value. And I'm going to leave it there for now, just a brief little update before we come back in full swing. So as I said, next week's episode will be all around my book, Life in the Soul Lane. I'm really looking forward to sharing that one with you. And until next time, take really good care of yourself and I'll talk to you again soon.